circuits. Source free RC circuits. Okay. So in the source free RC circuit, I as I discussed yesterday that you have a resistance R and you have a capacitor and they are resistance parallel to capacitor and now you will apply voltage capacitor will be charged and now suddenly you remove the source so capacitor, capacitor will start discharging and that will the, the circuit will show transient behavior transient behavior matlab means the voltage across the capacitor or voltage across the resistor which is the same in the both uh, both are parallel that is same so vt is given by v naught e power minus t t upon rc where tau is your rc okay and here v naught is the initial voltage v naught is the initial voltage across the capacitor initial voltage so we have done some problems also so we have done the problems when v naught is known okay v naught was known and we have calculated the tau and we and then we have we have calculated the vt now we will see some circuits where v naught is not known in the in the beginning but you have to calculate from the circuit okay for example of this circuit is there so this type of transient circuit generally comes with a circuit which has a switch on and switch off for example now you have a battery 20 volt here you have a register of 3 ohm and here you have a switch a switch is there and the switch i'm opening at t is equal to zero time here you have a 9 ohm and this is your one more register is a 1 ohm here you have 1 ohm register I am putting a capacitor here. Okay. This is the case. This is the circuit. Now this circuit shows transient behavior. Transient behavior means thus initially the switch is closed. Okay. Initially this switch is initially the switch is closed and T is equal to zero. I am opening. So initially when switch is closed, I can plot this circuit is like this. Okay. And now say initially capacitor was discharged at t is equal to zero time. Okay, t is equal to zero time. And now capacitor will charge. That is steady state response. That is normal way. Na? Now if once this is charged, it will have some voltage. Okay, I can treat this as an open circuit and I can find how much voltage is there. So once it's so, so, so say in, now this source is there, now it will charge. Now it will charge and it will be like open circuit. So no current will flow. So whatever voltage will come across here, the voltage will be same here because here no current is there. And I can find what is the voltage across a nine, nine, uh, nine ohm. So voltage across nine ohm will be what? That will be equal to VC, V naught. V naught means uh, when I'm opening that uh, switch. So this is V naught. So V naught will be what? V naught will be your V across nine ohm because here I is zero. So this will be how much tell me? 20 volt 3 and 9 3 and 9 how much this is 12 and now you have 9 so this will be 3 uh, 3 this will be 4 this will be 5 so this is your 15 volt voltage okay so in this circuit in this circuit the voltage is uh, voltage is 15 volt okay now what you do now you say I am opening this here. A switch was there. Now I am opening this switch. I am open once 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 you open the switch, what happens? This circuit breaks. And now now you have only circuit remaining is this one. One ohm and nine ohm. And now here you have a capacitor which is charged, charged initially uh, with V naught. Now this becomes source free circuit. Okay. So this circuit has a steady state. This, this circuit do not have a transient behavior. Of course, 
initially voltage is uh, initially voltage is uh, uh, zero and now you are charging here you know, of course you are charging here with this one that is charging case that we will see later now i am only discussing source free circuit so here i know the initial voltage here now again i am uh, removing this circuit now this is now the source is not present source gone so now this is the source now again this voltage will decay across these two resistors become 10 ohm and now it will show a transient behavior transient behavior and you know the transient behavior is what if you want vt v, uh, voltage across the capacitor which is given by v naught e power t upon tau okay now tau you have to calculate for this circuit not for this circuit because this is the source free circuit okay and now what will the voltage here now their voltage will be uh, tau will be what tau will be your first you find the equivalent resistance so equivalent resistance is 10 ohm across the c total resistance is 10 ohm and tau will be rc c value is given as a 20 millifarad c value is get 20 millifarad so now tau will be what 10 into 20 millifarad okay so this will give me 200 uh, millifarad or if you say in a farad kitna hai ka farad mein 0 0.2 farad seconds 0 0.2 tau r and c is uh, millisecond this is 200 millisecond or seconds or you say 0 0.2 seconds this is your tau okay now you can put the value here you know the v naught is 15 e power minus t upon 0 0.2 0 0.2 is 2 2 by 10 that is 1 by 5 second so this become 5t tau value and this become volt so same question what we have done yesterday only here the thing is uh, v naught was not given in the in the initial as initial voltage here v naught itself we have to calculate okay uh, i hope the message is clear what i'm trying to communicate is that point clear question is clear or not tell me yes sir clear sir okay. yes sir so ye to ho gaya aapka kya ho gaya ye aapka ek question ho gaya ab we'll do next kind of uh, so here also energy will change initially what is energy finally what is the uh, and final energy zero initial energy here you can calculate because we you know v naught so half c v naught so you can calculate okay now one more thing i want to discuss in the source free rc circuit they are very easy questions okay only you have to find the r equivalent tau put it the value in this this equation equation we have already der derived so nothing is uh, difficult in this type of questions. Now, one more thing that say, I have a capacitor, okay? And here have a register, register R, and this is my here, okay? And here, voltage is varying with time, and the initial voltage is initial VT is V naught, okay? V, v at T is equal to zero v at t is equal to zero time is v naught initial voltage and this is discharging okay so discharging so obviously some current is flowing here okay so i want to find how much power loss is there in the register because in the, finally this this will lose our energy total energy is hot half cv naught square initial energy is what initial energy in the capacitor we see at t is equal to zero time is half cv naught square and now I want to find how much energy is lost in the register. Okay, let us find energy lost, energy loss in the register. Energy loss, okay, which is called ohmic loss also. Heat loss or ohmic loss in a resistance. I square R, okay. So let us, so I know what is Vt, Vt at any time t is minus t upon rc okay now i want what i want current so current voltage is vt at any time here so current will be it will be what it will be vt by r 
that is v naught r upon e power t upon r c okay power loss in register power loss pehle fat power in the register okay power in the register will be what p p will be at a time t will be i t and v t okay what is the power it's consuming at time t is given by this equation so you know i t you know v t so this will be what multiply both these things it will give v not square upon r v not square by r and e power minus 2t by r c okay this is your power at any time t now what will happen you want energy loss okay so energy loss will be what what will be energy loss tell me energy is what what is the relation between energy and power pt energy per unit time uh, so energy per unit time so if i want to find energy that will be equal to pt dt okay energy loss from time 0 to time t okay put the value here so this will give you v not square upon r e power minus 2 t r c d t okay this energy loss i will write w okay have work done w power loss energy loss energy loss okay in register and r okay energy loss in the register so this will become what v naught is square v naught is constant r is constant if you integrate this one e power minus 2t upon rc will come and what will come minus sign minus sign and 2 upon rc okay and this is 0 to t put it the values So the uh, energy loss will be what? It will be V naught square upon R into one by two RC. And this is your, this is the minus is there. So I'll change the limit sign. I'll put an E power minus two T by RC. I'll change the limit. So this is R R cancel. This become half C V naught square. Limit put limit here. This become one and this will be E power minus two T upon R C. So this is the energy loss. Okay, at time T. In the register. Now if T is if T tends to infinite. Okay, in steady state. The energy loss will be what half C V naught square. Put T in finite here. This term will become zero. So whatever energy was stored in the capacitor initially, that total energy will be lost in the register. Okay, that is equal to half C V naught square. That is a one thing you to think. Of course, whatever energy is. It is discharging capacitor discharging through the register. So whatever energy is there that is decaying in the register. Okay. So this is one kind of questions. Now in RC circuit, there are second type of questions. Okay, second type of transit circuit, which we are going to discuss. If this is clear, I can go to the next next one. Something like Liana is go. Yes, sir. Hmm. If everybody has written, so I can go to the next type of questions now. Excuse me, sir. You can't tell me. Hmm. Uh, sir, for solving the problems, we just have to keep the formulas into our mind or we have to keep all the derivation into our mind? No, no derivation you don't need. So okay. only the formulas? Uh, here, here formula is what? Here I have already solved everything. Okay. 
this is so, so, for example for example this is very simple na you know which have energy total energy is half cv square and that only will decay with time because voltage is becoming zero so all energy is going to the resistor transferring energy conservation okay so, just to so, just to, just, you, just to dem demonstrate i have shown this one and this is a very simple uh, easy integration okay <laughs> yes sir now we will see the step potential step potential step potential case means now what is there say suppose just now i have seen we have a r okay and we have a, a capacitor okay and say here one source is present okay now say this is source is v not for example there will be anything okay and now here capacitor is there there will be some more resistor so i am taking the simplest example okay and now what will happen here there is a one more uh, source is present that that source i will say v final or i say v infinite i'll say this is v not and i'll say this is v infinite v infinite means final source okay for example this is just for understanding and at t is equal to zero, I will close this. Uh, t is equal to zero. <laughs> Either I will close. Huh? I say I will close. Uh, but first, we have to remove this one also. So let us say first. First, uh, consider this case. Okay, now this case. Now we know whenever V naught is there, so there will be some voltage in the circuit, and the capacitor will charge up to the voltage V naught. Okay. Now what I'll do, I will I will remove this one and I will introduce some other source V, okay, and I'll connect with some. There will be some registers also. I will connect here in this circuit. Just try to understand. Don't write anything, okay. Now this is the V final. So I know what is the initially capacitor is capacitor is charged up to V naught. Initially capacitor is charged up to V naught. And now I'm bringing one more, one more source V final. Now capacitor will again charge. This voltage may be higher than this voltage or lower, maybe lower than this voltage. If it is higher, it will go to higher voltage. If it is a low, if this is a lower, it will go to the uh, in steady state. It will attain the voltage of this source. Okay. So in between these two uh, situation, okay, what is the voltage across the capacitor? Okay, either it will going from V naught to v, VF, okay, increasing or by decreasing it is going from V naught to VF. So in between there is the transition period that is your transit behavior. So in this type of questions, I'm not deriving the derivation. It is a simple derivation, but I'm not deriving. Directly you can remember the formula that whenever this type of situation come, where the initial voltage is given, you need, this is a charging. Okay, now I'm doing charging case, not discharging. Force free discharging case now charging of capacitor charging of a capacitor. Okay, when initial voltage is given and you are going to the final voltage in between there is a transition that is that the transition voltage is given by V infinite V infinite plus the formula is you can write as V final V final uh, V plus V naught minus V infinite E power T upon tau T upon tau. This formula you can directly remember. You can write V final V initial that all this way also you can remember. Okay. And so circuit is same. You should know the key points you have to remember. The key point is what key points solving the circuit. Number one you have to calculate V naught. Once you know the V naught, you have to know what is V infinite. And once you know V naught, V infinite, you have to calculate the uh, tau, tau in the transient circuit, tau. You have to calculate tau. So three things now you have to calculate and you can solve uh, this kind of circuits. Okay, let us understand with example. Say, let me take one problem. So this formula only you have to uh, remember charging case okay we can derive it easily it is a, a two line derivation okay. you might have done your schools also 
and assuming v naught is zero. So what is this is say plus minus say circuit is there twenty four three kilo ohm say a five kilo ohm. So R and C, the circuits where R and C's are there, that is circuits are very simple circuit. Okay. Generally student find these are difficult, but now you can understand these are very simple circuits. You can solve very easily. Now say you have a capacitor connected here. And now you have one more circuit. Four kilo ohm. And here you have 30 volts. Okay. And now at T is equal to zero. I am bringing this here at T is equal to zero. I am bringing here and you have to tell me what is the voltage at T greater than time. Okay. What is the voltage before after T is equal to zero time. So T is equal to zero. I am bringing here before that everything is T zero minus. Okay. I told you now what is time is yes, time is T zero time is T just before T or T less than zero and this T greater than zero. Okay. Or you say, yeah, this is just before, before uh, zero. This is just after zero. Okay. So this is the case. This circuit is not initially disconnected. So only circuit where before circuit is T or T less than zero time. This is circuit So find the what is the voltage here? What is the voltage across the capacitor? Tell me what is the voltage across the capacitor? So at T less than zero time, what is the voltage across the capacitor? That is what is V zero. Kitna hai batao. This is your circuit plus. 15 volt hmm? 15 volt okay 15. okay let us say so this is my circuit 3 kilo 5 kilo and here capacitor capacitor will charge and it will not allow any voltage okay say now steady state of voltage is v naught this v naught will be equal to this voltage so here voltage v naught will be what current 24 upon 8 kilo ohm into 5 kilo ohm. This is 3. So this is a 15 volt. Okay, this is simple. So you do you need three things. You know D you need V naught, you need V infinite, and you need tau. So first thing you have calculated. Okay. Now you want to calculate the second thing. Second thing means you want to calculate V infinite. So V infinite is T greater than zero times. Okay. Now we'll solve the circuit for T greater than zero times. And this will maintain this is this will become V. This is same V at zero, uh, V zero minus time is 15 volt T zero also 15 volt zero plus also 15 volt. Okay. There's the initial voltage. Now what we'll do, I will bring this key here. Now this is, this has been removed. So my new circuit will be, my new circuit will be this one. Four kilo ohm. Now here it will change. Okay. Tell me what is the final voltage? 30. 30. So this V infinite will come 30. Okay. Now RC you have to see here. Okay. This is a transient circuit. Transient circuit. Okay. And the C value in the question, it is given 0 0.5 millifarad. Okay. 0 0.5 millifarad. Tau will be what? R equivalent. R equivalent is what? Across the, across this one. Now how to okay. find the... So whenever you find uh, uh, R across open circuited, you have to make it, this is short. Okay. Like calculating R Thamnian. So this is four kilo ohm. So R, R 
across r equal and across c is 4 kilo ohm so this is tau will be 4 into 10 to the power 3 r into c is what 0 0.5 millifarad okay so this cancels out so this comes out two second okay so now you know all the three things 15 30 now you can use the formula and you can find the voltage so voltage is what voltage is v at t is equal to v infinite plus v zero minus v infinite e power t upon tau so v infinite is your 30 plus 15 minus 30 e power tau is your 2 so 0 0.5 t okay so this will become 30 minus 15 e power minus 0 0.5 t <laughs> t this is v t Now, let us understand, is there any student who is finding difficulty to understand this one? Now, this is the equation. Now, you can so see at t is equal to 0, what is v, v0 at t is equal to 0, which is v0 will be equal to 30 minus, this will become 0, 15, 15, just now we have seen this is 15 volt. And you find what is V at T is equal to infinite time. This term will become zero. So you'll get 30 volts. So this equation is satisfied. Okay, so this is the equation. This is the transient behavior equation. So, so I hope you find these questions very simple. Okay, there is a no nothing. Uh, nothing tough. So this was your capacitor. Okay. Now I'll do one or two problem for inductor also. Inductor is not uh, very important. Okay. Inductor generally uh, electric engineer people. Okay. Who work on power. Okay. Transformers. Oh, there it's important. Uh, generally in the physics branch, uh, physics people don't like this inductor. So you have very rarely some problems comes from the inductor in your course. In exams, but you should know how to deal with inductor also, especially when we will do the op-amp. There will be some circuits, filters where you will use the inductor also. So you should have some little bit of knowledge about the inductor also, how to treat inductor in the circuit DC as well as AC circuits. So first we are going to learn the DC circuit like we have done for the capacitor. This is also very easy. So inductor, okay, inductor is a coil, okay, can anyone tell me what is inductor, what is, in, what is the inductor, what material inductor is made of? If suppose if I have a wire, a copper wire, that will behave like a that will behave like a register or that will behave like an inductor. That is inductor or that is inductor or register. Sir, register. Or inductor क्या होता है फिर बताओ. Sir, coil होता है sir. तो coil coil और coil बन जाने से क्या हो जाएगा बताओ. So you know what is XL? Impedance of inductor kitna hota hai? Suppose this is the L. Omega L. Omega, L. Omega is what? Frequency. Omega kya hota? Frequency. frequency of the current. Frequency of the source current. Okay. Agar frequency is zero hoga to kya hoga? In... Excel inductance zero ho jayega. To wo bhi wire hai. But resistance, resistance to dikhayega. Okay. Yes, so that koi wire. Of course, you have to, for induction effect, you want to make it coil. 
सो इन एक कोई रजिस्टर कोई सिंपल वायर भी इंडक्टर होता है ओके बट जो जस्ट टू इंक्रीज इन एनहांस द इंडक्टर इफेक्ट वी मेक इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कॉयल ओके नाउ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंडक्टर एंड रजिस्टर इज देयर एज द फ्रिक्वेंसी इंक्रीजेज ओके as the frequency increases this resistor will this this coil will give you inductance effect okay it will give inductance value okay more the more the frequency resistor resistor behavior will uh, decrease so this same this same coil will behave like a inductor resistance value uh, will because this is thinner wire okay so we don't make a uh, uh, so this is a thick thick wire so resistance are very uh, resistance are generally small so for the same wire for high frequency it will give you inductance effect okay that is the difference now so everything is frequency dependent now i am going to deal the inductor okay but in this inductor should be linear inductor because i am only discussing linear circuit so linear inductor means the l should not vary so this is a linear inductor so in the circuit we are only going to deal linear inductors the inductors which are variables okay we will not deal excuse me the... sir ha ah, tell me sir you uh, how sir frequency kaise increase hoti hai sir thoda samajh nahi aaya ac source hai na bhi dc dc source karoge to ye register hai dc ke liye to acha samjhe register bhi nahi hai xl uh, zero hai iska theek hai बहुत मोटा वायर होता है तो रजिस्टेंस होता ही नहीं है शॉर्ट सर्किट के बिहेव करेंगे बताएंगे बता रहे हैं ठीक है सो नाउ दिस इज द सो आई एम इन द सर्किट व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वी विल ओनली से टेक द एल व्हिच इज कांस्टेंट दिस इज अ वेरिएबल एल वी विल नॉट टेक अ वेरिएबल एल और सपोज देयर इज अ इंडक्टर इन बिटवीन देयर इज से सम कॉइल इज देयर सम सम आयरन कॉइल आयरन कोर इज देयर ओके iron core is there that will also change the value of l with with respect to the current if current will vary the l value will change so this type these two type of uh, inductor we will not use okay this is also variable inductor variable inductor so we will draw l only by simple coil okay so this these two will not discuss in the course we will only discuss this type of inductor now what happens when you apply a voltage to a inductor or cu when current flows in the inductor okay suppose you are for flowing a voltage you are applying a time dependent voltage time dependent voltage here so a time dependent current is flowing across this l okay so the property of l is that it will Regis the change of current in the current. Okay, so if I say when I is changing with time, so a voltage will develop across the inductor, which will which will will which will try to nullify this effect. Okay, and this voltage is given by L di by dt. So whenever there is a change in the current, okay, inductor will regis this change. in inductor will register change and it will and the voltage will develop across the inductor which the value is l di by dt depend on the uh, this di this ratio di by dt okay more the change in current more the voltage will develop okay which will try to balance opposite voltage now if there is a dc source so for dc source what will happen for a dc source for a dc source di by dt is zero so di by dt is zero that means my v will be what zero voltage drop across the inductor will be zero that means for number one property for dc source for dc source inductor behaves inductor behaves like and kya v0 means what short circuit inductor like capacitor behaves like a open circuit jaise ki humne dekha capacitor ko open kar dete dc circuit mein abhi dc circuit baat ki ac ki baat nahi kar rahe hain 
only are we talking about DC so DC source it will it you have to replace inductor by a short circuit okay this is the one property and the second property is there if you try to change in the you try to bring the change in the current in inductors suppose initially a inductor is kept like this here i is zero and now you suddenly put a source which will try to change this i so there suddenly i cannot change like in the capacitor suddenly voltage cannot change here suddenly i cannot change okay you cannot bring current flowing in inductor if i say i versus t curve initially current is zero you can suddenly cannot uh, go to il suddenly it, it cannot it cannot go from zero to il because this required di divided it in infinite infinite current you cannot flow so so dc is in the for dc circuit it behaves like a short circuit but at t is equal to zero time okay what is t is equal to zero time so this is your inductor and now when you are applying a voltage dc volt say v at t is equal to zero time it will not allow any current it will not allow any current means it will behave like a kaise behave karega how it will behave at t is equal to zero if it not in... open circuit open circuit the initial current is zero current will not change even though you apply the voltage that means it will not allow any current after some time slowly slowly current will change okay and it will come to steady state and steady state some current will flow but it will not have a voltage drop so at t is equal to zero second point at t is equal to zero inductor behaves like an open circuit exactly opposite to the capacitor capacitor behaves short circuit because voltage cannot develop zero is if it is zero it remains a zero zero voltage means short circuit because across short circuit there cannot be any voltage okay and capacitor becomes open this will become short that is the difference only in the solving the circuit so let us do a few problems for dc circuits okay so inductor in dc circuit so we are all almost completing our network analysis then maybe one more class then we will go to the our main syllabus okay and ac in between we will discuss so inductor in dc circuits okay so say i have a 12 volt battery then i have a 1 ohm resistor this is a 4 ohm resistor then i have a say a 1 farad capacitor and here is a 5 ohm resistor and here i have a inductor of 5 to henry okay now i have to find find the steady state current find the say this is steady state i here find the steady state current il in the inductor what is the steady state current in the inductor find out now you will remember steady state capacitor is open and this is short circuit make it short circuit and solve so 2 ampere so now we'll i'm seeing the steady state behavior steady state behavior okay not at t is equal to 0 not at t is equal to 
t equal to zero, the case, case is different. Current is different. Everything is different. Okay, we'll see t equal to zero also. So now steady state, what we can steady state, this will become open and this will become short circuit. Okay. Now here, this is open, no current will flow, I is zero. So 12 volt battery register one, five, and this is a zero resistance. Short circuit means zero resistance. So the current here, I, that is equal to I L. So I L is equal to I equal to 12 volt divided by one plus five. 6 ohm that is 2 ampere okay now what is the voltage across capacitor what is the vc find 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 voltage across capacitor find v, uh, voltage across capacitor steady state voltage across capacitor tell me what is the voltage across the capacitor So voltage across capacitor here yeah. no 10, 10, 10 volt. Very good. So this voltage, this voltage is same. So basically this voltage is what across this one. Here no drop is there. So this is parallel to this one. So voltage across capacitor VC. Okay. Steady state case. Steady state. Study that should know what is steady state. Steady state. Okay. So VC will be what? 5 ohm into 2, that is 10 volt. Okay, this, that is the final steady state voltage. Now, same question, if I ask you solve this value for T is equal to 0, find the steady state, uh, find the current and voltage across. Okay, now find, same cost circuit, find the voltage across capacitor, voltage across capacitor and current in the inductor inductor at t is equal to zero time t is equal to zero time means as soon as soon as the source is connected in the circuit as soon as source is is brought uh, being brought in the circuits as soon as the source is connected suppose the source is not there and i bring the source immediately that time what is the current and what is the voltage tell me what is the voltage across the capacitor what is the voltage across the capacitor capacitor will behave like a yes. short circuit uh, this will behave like a open circuit at t is equal to zero time so no current will be flowing here initially current was zero so it remains zero if some current is there that current will can, the current will be maintained it will not change here current was zero so remain zero and here vc will be zero so il will be zero and vc will be zero il will be zero and open circuit and vc will be also zero which is VC zero Y because it's really like a short circuit. That thing you have to understand. So now inductor will be short circuit in steady state. Okay. Now what about same thing if inductor are in series? Inductor in series okay say okay one more formula i want to discuss i just now i told you that v is equal to what l di by dt so current changes slowly in the inductor current changes slowly in the inductor so if i want di so di will be what that will be <coughs> one by l VDT okay and my I will be what in, if I integrate 1 by L VDT okay and current is changing from say 0 to I I know I know say this is time time is 0 to 
फिफ्टी ओके और इंटीग्रेट दिस वन टेल मी इफ यू इंटीग्रेट हाउ मच कम विदाउट लिमिट ना इफ आई सॉल्व दिस वन दिस गिव मी वन अपॉन एल एंड वी इज वॉट वी इज वी ऑल्सो आई कैन राइट हियर से जस्ट गिव मी वन मिनट वॉट आई एम डूइंग to see the inductors right like, now just give you one second hmm okay now i have to take time here i have put a time limit okay so as like your capacitor this is also memory element so i can put a time limit from minus infinite to t okay now let us solve this one so i can write i equal to what 1 upon l minus infinite to t0 v dt and plus 1 upon l i will write from t0 to time t v d t okay now i am solving this one i will write i l is equal to this is i at time t i at a time t so this will become 1 upon l t 0 t v d t okay and this will become say 1 upon l v d t i can write again l d i by d t so this will give me i basically i so i at t0 time and minus i at infinite time okay so this integration minus infinite t0 v dt okay 1 by l i am writing 1 by l minus infinite t0 v values again i am writing l di by dt l di by dt so dt dt cancel okay and l will also cancel so this become i not minus i uh, infinite minus infinite minus infinite and i know when i brought the new inductor i minus infinite was zero so i can write this is a i at time t will be 1 upon l t0 t v dt plus i at t0 so this equation we have to remember if there is a some current flowing in the register uh, inductor and you are flowing applying some volt uh, time dependent voltage then the current new current will be this current plus this current okay this is also current only okay so this current plus this current like in the in the capacitor charging voltage how much voltage is at a time t that depends for wow, what is the initial voltage here similarly here what is the initial current okay that you have to see so this is also a memory effect so generally this will be given in the question and this limit you can change from if you want right i t you can change this limit from 0 to t v dt plus i at t is equal to zero time but we are not going to solve this kind of questions because this type of questions generally will not comes in our our course but just to give a formula i have given you the formula now <coughs> there us so if you have any doubt please ask is there any question here shekhar saravan so just just to remember this formula okay now inductor i will deal tomorrow but just i want to give some formula tomorrow we will discuss in detail an inductor one more class one class will be there for inductor and now say if inductors are in series inductor in series okay say This is L one, L two, 
L3, Ln, and I'm applying here a time dependent voltage. Okay. So this circuit I can replace by say a L equivalent and my BT this one time dependent voltage VT okay. time dependent voltage VT now this voltage I told you whenever you apply standard voltage here also voltage will develop okay say V1 here also voltage will develop say V2 here also will voltage develop V3 and here also voltage will develop Vn. Okay. Now total voltage V will be equal to at time T. This will be V1T plus V2T Kirchhoff law. Okay. Plus V3T Vnt. Okay. And now V V1 is what? L1 di by dt here also i can write vt equal to l equivalent di by dt in the in the circuit okay vt uh, vt equals to what l di by dt l equivalent di by dt because the, they all are in series so current changes are current changes remain the same for every inductor. Similarly, you can write L2 DI by DT plus L3 DI by DT. And now this is L and DI by DT. So if I find this will be cancelled out. So L equivalent will be L1 plus L2 plus L3. It's just like us uh, adding inductor means seems it's a similar way as we do for your registers okay similarly you can derive for this formula for parallel circuits also just you know two minutes we'll do it it's parallel also so inductor in parallel circuits inductor in parallel circuits can i erase this one So actually not required to do this one just two minutes are remaining we cannot start a new topic so at least we derive this formula okay i can directly write also formula so now you have inductors which are in parallel so you should also know how how the derivation is done ln okay so this is your l1 l2 l3 and here we are applying some time dependent voltage okay which is giving a current time dependent current here current is i1 here current is i2 of course these are time dependent then only meaning otherwise this will be short circuit and here int okay again you can apply kcl so it will be what it will be I1T, I2T plus I3T and plus INT and this circuit again can be replaced by equivalent circuit VT L equivalent okay and IT is flowing and I know whenever IT is flowing, IT can be written by what? IT can be written by one upon L. 
टी नॉट टू टी बी डी टी प्लस आई नॉट एट टी इज टू टी नॉट टी इज टू टी नॉट टी इजल टू टी नॉट सिमिलरली हियर आल्सो आई कैन राइट वोल्टेज इज सेम बिकॉज ऑल आर पैरल सो वन अपॉन एल वन टी नॉट टू टी वी डी टी इज सेम ओनली दिस करंट इज डिफरेंट दिस विल बी आई वन एट टी इजल टू टी नॉट सिमिलरली वन प्लस एल टू टी नॉट टी वी डी टी I not T at T not and similarly you can write one upon L n T not T V D T. I am writing directly because it is now you have you might have understood what I what is the going to happen now. So T at T not okay. So this will cancel out everything. Okay, this this will this sum will cancel out by these sums, these sums. And this will cancel out, so you get one upon L by one upon L one one equivalent equivalent. This is equivalent L equivalent L equivalent will be one upon L one one by L two one upon L three one upon L n. Okay, just to formula you to remember. Nothing special. So let us stop here because you have a new class. Okay, thank you. If any student has doubt, you can ask. Otherwise, tomorrow we'll continue, inductor. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir.